Elizabeth. Got my Miss Elizabeth Elite finally, and this box is trashed. Might as well just open it now for the review. Girl, let's bust you in that pretty dress out of this little plastic prison. What you just said to Elizabeth is enough to get me to the boiling point, yeah. Okay, that, that's got to just be in my head. I see your hands up and down, my woman. Yeah, okay, I'm not crazy. Am I crazy? Uh, call Mayor Alexa, hey. What is it, Mayor Aaron? Yo, I think this Macho Man figure's talking to me. I mean, can't you hear him? You're crazy. I don't hear sh Maybe you're still recovering from all of your head injuries. What? Head injuries? Psh, I don't remember any head injuries. Anyways, are you going to get this Macho Man? An Elizabeth review started or what? I'm on one right now. Yeah, of course. Just, uh, just, just give me a minute. Hey, uh, Mr. Man, uh, Macho, Macho Man, listen, I, I have to touch Elizabeth to review her. I mean, I, I promise my intentions are good. But I can see the lust in your eyes, yeah. Oh, that's enough. Okay, that's it. After this review, I am going to the doctor. Let's just get this thing started. Homeboy needs a shrink if you ask me. Dig it. Hey y'all, welcome to Lumberjoeville. Women's wrestling lives here. And yes, despite today's review being a male figure, women's wrestling still lives here. And this channel is dedicated to women's wrestlers and their figures. And my goal is to really get the respect level up for the women's wrestling figures out there because I love them. I love to collect them. I have a lot of fun. My daughter and I bond over it, but that's beyond the point. Either way, the reason we're doing a male figure review today is because the Macho Man is my guy. What I mean by that is he's the one that got me into wrestling. You know, especially this Macho in this attire. I mean, this was 1992. I was five years old. And I remember seeing him with that white jacket. And he really pulled me in through the screen and made me fall in love with wrestling. So when I heard this was coming out, I absolutely had to do a review on it. So this is a little bit of a special review and a little different than what I usually do. Now, when I was doing research as to what exactly this attire was from, and I'll go into details with that later, but it was a Saturday night main event episode. And after the match, he was accompanied to the back by none other than Miss Elizabeth in a green dress. Not the same green dress, but close enough. So I'm going to do a little mini review of her elite here. And also, he wrestled Jake the Snake in that match, and afterwards... He was about to get attacked by Jake, and he was saved by The Undertaker, but either way. So, to make this review fun, the treasure is going to be coming in for a brief period of time to do a treasure's brief audit and review the Legends Jake the Snake that came out recently. So, this is like a Saturday night main event review, and I'm excited. So, let's get started with the Macho Man. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, like we did in the past with the Becky Ultimate and the Ronda Ultimate, is to take a look at this box, because this thing is a work of art. Now, they all generally look the same with this red and white detail, but looking at the side, I mean, like I said, this is the macho that made me fall in love with wrestling, right here. So, I absolutely love this, and I'm going to keep this box after I open it. 
On the other side, it just says Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, I am going to point out, I know I'm missing the sunglasses, but they did fall, so they're down by his feet. And after we look at the box, I will take it out and um, show you everything that it comes with. So, on the back, what's really cool about these Ultimates, I love that they do this, is they have a little fig photography. So, they have him doing the elbow drop off the top rope there in figure form. And below it is just a photo of him in the ring. We have his stats over here. And then a little bio down here. So yeah, this gets to the point. Sometimes on the ultimate boxes, it'll say what the attire's from. And this one doesn't. But I did some research, did some digging, and I found out what exactly it is from. So without further ado, let me take this thing out. And we'll take a closer look piece by piece. Macho Man Ultimate Edition 8. This attire's from WWF Saturday Night's main event on February 8th, 1992. Where he defeated Jake the Snake. He was infamously bit on the arm by Jake Snake in previous weeks, and this was his redemption match. Fun fact is that after the match, he was accompanied by Miss Elizabeth to the back, when Jake was hiding behind the curtain, waiting to strike the couple with the chair. However, the Undertaker saved the day and grabbed the chair out of Jake's hands. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the Macho Man here without all his accessories. Now, he comes with a significant amount of of accessories here and we are going to see how easy those are to put on to do some swaps but first i wanted to take a closer look of the figure without all that so without further ado let's take a look at this face scan all right so let's start off by taking a closer look at the face scan that he comes packaged with and i have to be honest that's probably my one and only gripe with this figure at least so far is that this face scan just seems off. I feel like Mattel has not really been able to nail the Macho Man's likeness yet, and I don't know why that is. I do know that I feel like the excess hair might be contributing to it. You know, Randy had very thin hair on top of his head, and I know he was very self-conscious of that, so I don't know if it's out of respect they give him more than he had or what, but... I can't remember Randy Savage having this thick of hair on top, and maybe that's what's throwing it off. I don't know, but it just seems a little off. However, I think this works fine, you know, especially considering he comes with his sunglasses and his hat. But either way, I much prefer the smiling scan because he does come with another head. And this is a more serious Randy. This is a determined, focused Randy. And once again, a little too thick in the front with the hair. And maybe that's what's throwing it off, y'all. I don't know. But moving back to the head he comes packaged with, I do prefer the smiling scan. It's nice. He's got nice little wrinkle indentations. It seems like everything is there that should make this scan perfect. But for some reason, it just seems a little off. And I honestly do think it is that hair. But without further ado, let's move on down to the attire. So the attire is really where this figure starts to shine. And if you've watched my channel before, you probably know that I'm colorblind. So seeing these neon bright colors jump out makes me smile. It makes me ear to ear grin. And I'm having so much fun with this review, honestly. Now, there are a couple cool features of this figure. and We're going to start with those. So he has these shoulder tassels that are molded on in a plastic. However, the way that they're attached underneath the shoulder, it does not inhibit his motion at all. So he's able to pose his arms in all different directions and it moves with it. Also, he's got these little molded tassels on his side that are coming out and those also move. Now, starting with that upper attire here, you can see that it's got the pink and black design in combination with that solid yellow line going down. Moving them to the back, it's that continuation along with that pattern. And then moving to the lower body here, we have that, God, that's crazy, that awesome pink and black, intricately detailed painted design, along with the yellow, kind of contrasting with it. Now, the boots really do stand out, honestly. They are just a plain white. However, these yellow laces are molded on, and the green little backsplash to the yellow, almost like the tongue, is freaking awesome. And on the back of the boots... He also has molded yellow laces with that green background. So yeah, and I mean, something that's also important to note is yes, he does have painted on wrist tape and his hands are painted on to make it look like he has his fingers and hands taped. So yeah, this attire freaking rules and I love it. 
All right, so now let's talk about his accessories because that's really what makes this figure so freaking iconic, I can already tell. So besides that extra head that he comes packaged with that has that serious scan, he also comes with open hands here, and he comes with semi-grasping uh, hands packaged. He also comes with these green and black sunglasses, this neon green cowboy hat, included the tassels in the back here molded on, which is a nice little addition. And then the signature white jacket. I mean, this is gorgeous. It has green fabric tassels. You know, it's got oh yeah on the front, turning it around. We have the Macho Man oh yeah design on the back here, along with green and black stripes designed on there. So without further ado, let's put this all on him and see how it fits and how hard or easy it is to do. So I am going to keep his semi-grasping hands on. Now, I was originally looking to see if those shoulder little tassel pads can come off, and I don't think they can, so I hope I'm not wrong. But let's just slide on his jacket here. Oh, yeah. Let me get it under his hair. That was freaking easy to put on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and then we're going to put on his glasses. I am keeping that smiling scan on. And then to top it off, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this figure. Oh my God, look at that. Jeez. I mean, just look at this figure, y'all. Like, this has got me smiling ear to ear. And this, like I said, this is the macho that made me fall in love with wrestling. So I, I, I oh my gosh, I'm at a loss of words here. This is just so much fun, this figure. And this, to me, is my favorite men's figure of all time. I mean, it, it just made that list. So, looking with how he is with his jacket and accessories on, I mean, obviously he looks great. There is a little Velcro clasp in the front of the jacket for it to secure nicely. And it's nice that these tassels hang down. Um, and the hat does look big, but looking at pictures of what this is based off of, the hat was big. I know initially you think of, like, Family Guy or you think of those big foam obnoxious cowboy hats but honestly this is how big it was so that's very accurate the only thing that i can say that i would have liked to have and i say it all the time with the women's figures is to have glitter detail or like a metallic glittery type paint application on that hat i think that really would have made it pop and would have made this figure like figure of the year if it isn't already honestly as far as men's figures go so yeah I mean, he has extreme posability even with this jacket on. He's not inhibited at all. And yeah, th this is just unbelievably awesome. So I'm going to put him on the little turntable here, give y'all one last look, and then we're going to take a look at Elizabeth from the Then Now Forever series. And here's one last look at the Macho Man from Ultimate Edition Series 8. Miss Elizabeth Elite from the Then Now Forever Wave 3, released in 2017. Now, I just want to start off by saying I have always been such a huge fan of Miss Elizabeth. Ever since I was a kid, I mean, I thought she was the most striking, elegant, beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm going to insert a picture here. I do have a men on card collection of my Mattel Miss Elizabeths. And I just have always had an infatuation with her. And yeah. So needless to say, when I was researching what the Macho Man's attire was from, that Saturday night's main event, she had a green type dress that she wore. Now, it wasn't this same dress, and I know this is mostly from like a promo, but either way, it was close enough, and I did want to get an extra one to open up and review. So getting a closer look at the face, that's the one thing I'm not a huge fan of of this figure. The eyes are huge. It's very cartoony looking. It's the same thing with Elite Series 19 and the all-white. The face is a little cartoony looking, especially if you compare it to the Elite 77 Miss Elizabeth, which does have that TrueFX face scan technology, so expectedly it's a lot better. But this works okay and just fine. Now, I like the inclusion of the silver necklace. She also has these long evening gloves 
painted on that goes past her elbow and it's just black. This dress is this beautiful green shiny fabric and she does have a little black, I don't know, undergarments painted on I guess. And then she has these silver heels. Now she doesn't have any pegs on the bottom of her feet so she does not stand very well but... I do love this Elizabeth figure, just like I love all of her releases. I mean, one day I'd love to review that Elite 19, but I have to get another one. So yeah, this is a great Miss Elizabeth figure, but if you're looking for the best face scan, definitely go for Elite 77. Now, before I give these two overall scores, I want to hand it over to the Treasurer for an edition of Treasurer's Brief Audits. And well, since he's the heel of Lumberjillville, I figured... Who better to review Jake the Snake Roberts, who is a heel in this match on Saturday night's main event, than the Treasurer? So without further ado, let's check it out. Hey everyone, Treasurer here. Since things have been going so well here in Lumber Jillville, I decided it was time for me to take on some extra help. To help me around the office, to help keep all the finances in order because Mayor Aaron likes to spend money left and right. So I went ahead and hired myself an auditor. And I'm going to let her introduce the figure for today. Hope you all enjoy. Introducing Series 8, Jake the Snake. And here we have Series 8 Legend Series, Jake the Snake Roberts. As you can see, there are two variants of this. There is the more common uh, Jake the Snake with the maroon pants and the blue snake. Um, and then there's the Chase version, which I recently found, that has the trademark green uh, pants with the purple snake which matches more along the lines of the series one Hasbro that I also own for this video we'll take a closer look at the more common one um, but obviously he comes with the bag for the snake the snake itself and another set of hands and ultimately I, I think this is also an, another great figure so let's take a closer look at the face scan on this the face scan is pretty pretty accurate I'm I'm not 100% sold on it, but it does look very good. This is one of my favorite figures, I think, in this line. You know, it comes with the white the white uh, wrist wraps as well. He's got the signature chest hair that Jake the Snake always had. The snake is actually a very good material. It's a very rubbery material that you can kind of rub around or wrap around a little bit. Um, the bag is a felt-type felt, felt type material. And the snake does fit down into the bag. You just really have to kind of stuff them in there. The leg design is very good. I love the details. Let me take this off him so you can actually see the legs. I love the detail into the leg design, that snake. It doesn't look like the colors bleed at all. So I'm actually very happy with it. Um, and yeah, it, it just it's a very good design of this. The, uh, the snake boots here are different than on the Chase, obviously. This is more of a black and gold type snake boot. They're very good as well. I, I like them both. Um, real quick, I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick look at what the Chase looks like up close. So as you can see, the face scan is pretty much the same. Uh, the detail on the pants are really the green with the purple and the orange snake. And then the boots, if you can see them in there, is uh, more of a lighter color with black piping. But all the other accessories are the same. And yeah, like I said, all in all, that's probably one of my favorite figures that uh, is in this specific series of the Legends. With that, back to Mayor Aaron. Now that Jake the Snake Elite from the Legends series, that looks freaking awesome. And that is one figure I have never seen in the stores out here at Target. So anyway, let's get on to the overall scores. Now for me, this was pretty easy to score the Macho Man. So I don't review men's figures typically. And even though I have a small collection of men's figures, I mean, if I had a dream figure to be made by Mattel, it would literally be this Macho Man. I mean, it's just stunning. The only gripe that I had was the face. And really, I think it's that hair. I think the hair is a little too thick. But either way, you put the cowboy hat on, put on his shades, put on his jacket. I mean, to me, this Ultimate Edition 8 Macho Man Randy Savage is a 10 out of 10. I mean, this thing makes me smile. This makes me smile ear to ear. And just doing this review was just so much fun. Now, the Then Now Forever Wave 3 Miss Elizabeth, I give it an overall score of an 8 out of 10. So, the Elite 77 Miss Elizabeth has that True FX face scan technology, and it is striking, honestly. It is amazing. Now, because this was way before then, actually it was 2017, so not that much before, but either way, her face is a little cartoony, and with Miss Elizabeth, her striking facial features in the face is one of the most important things in her figures. 
but the green dress is nice. The arm sleeves painted on, those long evening gloves are nice, and the silver heels are nice as well. So it is definitely a great figure, and honestly, I got her on Amazon Prime for $25 free shipping. So if you don't have a Miss Elizabeth and you can't get a hold of the SummerSlam one, and Elite 19 is out of your price range, definitely go for this one. Thanks for stopping by Lumber Jailville. Women's wrestling lives here. Now make sure to hit like and subscribe. We are getting close to a thousand subscribers. And for all future women's wrestling figures, a first look at all of them. Make sure you hit subscribe and join this community. Have a great night, y'all.